This video is a tutorial on how to use CCAD software. CCAD is a computer-rated design and drafting software to compose of low and medium voltage electrical distribution networks. CCAD simplifies the design process by using online maps, database of nodes, and automatic calculation tools. The result of the work in the CCAD is Material specifications in Excel format Drawings of poles in the PDF or AutoCAD DWG formats Trace of the line in the DXF format A complete project file of GeoJSON format which allows exporting data from CCAD to Geo Information Systems of Utilities Overview of CCAD functions the user-friendly CCAD interface allows drawing a project of an electrical distribution network easy and quick, and upon completion, export project documentation files. The program interface consists of Main menu User registration and authorization areas Registration allows to users to utilize full functionality of CCAD Database area Map area Toolbar. To create a distribution line, select the type of conductor from the list in the Conductors tab, then left click successively on the map to draw the trace of the line. To finish drawing the line, click with the right button of the mouse. To resume drawing, right click again. By typing a number on the keyboard while drawing trace and then pressing the Enter key, Uniform segments of the line will be created with the length typed in meters in the direction of the cursor. Each press of the Enter key leads the creation of a segment. This function speeds up work when, for example, the line will be situated in an uninhabited area, when usually the same distance between poles is applied. For the active line, the following information is displayed in its Properties tab. Line ID Line color Line type and weight Type of conductor Geometric length Elongation factor that takes into account conductor sagging's bands Additional length of the conductor on the last poles filled if necessary The line can be drawn both way Directly clicking on the map Or Clicking on already placed nodes on the map the lines are created in the active layer of the user layers toolbar. The newly drawn line can also be attached to the line already existing on the map if they are in the common layer. In this case, these lines will have a common point. When moving the common point, the lines attached also move with a point. Attached lines form the common layer is considered to be electrically connected. If the lines are located on different layers, they cannot be attached without an installed node. Installation of the node allows the attaching lines from another layer at this point. In the case of lines from different layers attached to a common node, lines are considered not electrically connected, until they will be connected in the properties of a common node. The Nodes tab contains nodes of the complete pole and also nodes of additional equipment. Nodes are sorted into folders according to the design catalog to which belong. By click on the icon opposite the folder name, the modal window containing the description of the design catalog is opened. In this window, there is a possibility to download the full version of the catalog in PDF format. Finding the needed node can be achieved by opening the folder or by using the search field. Typical nodes found using the search field are stored in a separate list to speed up the process further. Each node has its preview and drawing. Nodes can be added in the project by putting them on the map. Typical nodes can be placed in project in three different ways. On the map separately by clicking at any free place on the map. With an attachment to the line, by clicking directly on the line. 
in a group with other typical nodes, by clicking on an already existing node. Typical nodes are inserted into the project in the active layer highlighted in the list of layers. In this way, the user can divide objects into layers. For example, according to their types or voltage classes. For the node that has been placed on the map, the properties tab displays. Node type. Preview and drawing. Symbol. Index number. The layer in which it is located with the possibility of change. Geographical coordinates of the place where the node installed with the possibility of change. Specification of the node. The installed node specification can be changed by adding or removing products, or by changing their quantities. Multiple lines and different layers can pass through a common node. In this case, the node properties display a list of layers with the name of the appropriate line. In this menu, it is possible to create an electrical connection of lines placed on different layers. To create the service derivation node next steps to be done. Select and place the pole side service node on the pole. Select and place the wall side service node at the entry point of the building. Select the service conductor and connect the appropriate pole side node group to the wall node on the building. Pole side service derivation nodes have parameters of the electrical consumption in their properties. They are used in the electrical calculations of LV networks. Select the consumption parameters for all pole side service nodes placed on the map. To reduce numbers of operations while connecting consumers, it's handy to use the Service Sets tab. Service Sets include a typical node on the pole side, a typical node on the wall side, and the conductor. Selected Service Sets is inserted in the project in two clicks. First left click on the pole and the second left click on the entry point on the building. Once added, all nodes can be managed separately. When using the Service Sets tab, user can pre-select before placing on the map the electrical consumption settings that will be saved in the properties of a pole side service derivation node when placing to the project. To insert a transformer, a source tab is used. The following properties can be specified for the power source, ID, description, symbol, transformer power, type of transformer, connection scheme, rated primary voltage, rated secondary voltage, the voltage level on the transformer LV output. To perform electrical calculations, the power source should be connected to the line. It is possible to connect lines of different layers to a power source from its properties tab. By the way, installed nodes or installed node groups can be copied and pasted into the project by right-click menu or using Ctrl-C, Ctrl-V. During the design process uses a toolbar. Location search tool allows finding easily a location on the map by entering the geographic name. Topo tool allows downloading and display topographic maps in the JPEG format or the SVG vector format, change position, size, transparency, and rotate the topographic map to match with the online map, if needs. For more precise scaling, use the zoom factor. To find out the zoom factor, use the ruler tool to measure the distance between the points on the topographic map. The ratio between the actual distance value and the value measured by the ruler tool will be a scale factor. After entering the scale factor, matching will be achieved and user will obtain the correct values of the conductor lengths and specifications. The cursor tool is used to select and move objects. The polygon tool is used to provide the following two possibilities. The first is to obtain specifications for the objects located in the selected area. 
The second is to get a snapshot of the map located in the selected area. The ruler tool allows measuring linear distances. The angle measurement tool allows obtaining the value of the internal angle in degrees between two spans. To do this, click successively on one then on the other span. The info panel allows hiding or showing object signatures and customize the font settings. The delete tool deletes the objects. It is possible to delete the node. The group of nodes when left click on the mother node. The line section. Right click on the line deletes the entire line. The user layers panel allows placing objects of the project into layers. It gives the following possibilities. Generating specifications from the layers currently on. Turning off layers allows working only with a part of objects from on layers, without displaying unnecessary ones. Designing multiple lines on common poles. If two or more lines pass through a common node, they should be placed in different layers. In order to customize CCAD to your needs, it is possible to create own database. To create a product, this form should be filled. The product created is presented in the My Products category and can be used in the Properties tab to add to the place node specification. And when creating own typical nodes, to create a node, this form should be filled. Nodes created by the user are displayed in the My Nodes folder of the Nodes tab. To create a service derivation set, this form should be filled. Select existing typical nodes, one for installation on a pole. The second for installation on a wall of the building. And finally, the type of conductor has to be determined. Customers service derivation sets are displayed in the My Service Sets folder in the Service Sets tab. Own types of consumers can be also created in the user database. They are used for electrical calculation. This is done by filling out this form. The user's types of consumers are displayed in the drop-down list in the Properties tab for the Service Derivation Pole Side Nodes. In CCAD user can choose online maps to work with. To download project papers the main menu of CCAD proposes the following functions. Save the project file or open it. Download drawings of nodes of current project in PDF or AutoCAD DWG format. Don't forget to allow your browser to display pop-ups for the CCAD site. Export of the line trace in DXF format for use in third-party software such as AutoCAD. Obtain an image of the surrounded area at the required scale. To do this the following actions required. Surround the needed area of the map with the polygon tool. Zoom until the needed state. And click on drawings. Get print screen of the map. It takes some time until the image is created. Obtaining different types of specifications such as Consolidated specification Procurement budget calculation Bill of materials by pole User can also get a list of conductors and a list of poles. All specifications can be downloaded in Excel format. To obtain the results of the electrical calculations, select Currents and Voltage Drops Calculation in the menu Calculation. CCAD allows electrical calculations of LV networks to be carried out quickly and flexibly. The result of calculation will be displayed in a modal window with tabs. The individual tabs of the modal window show Voltage Drop and Voltage Deviation estimated currents in each span. The estimated load on the transformer. 
number and types of consumers. The result of the calculation for each line starts from the transformer. The detailed calculation tab provides detailed calculation results for each span. All calculation results can be downloaded in the Excel format. CCAD makes line designing as simple as possible and provide a necessary documentation for line construction implementation. Thank you for watching this manual. Let's go to 100% electrification together. Your CCAD customer support service.